This is a quick tutorial on how to set default apps on Windows. Begin by opening the Windows settings. You can do this by clicking on the Start menu and selecting the gear icon for settings, or by pressing the Windows key plus I on your keyboard. In the Settings window, click on Apps, then select Default Apps from the sidebar menu on the left. In the Default Apps settings, you'll see various categories such as email, web browser, music player, photo viewer, video player, and web browser. Click on each category to customize the default app associated with it. So let's try this on a video file. On my desktop background, I have a video file. If I click on it, you can see the video has opened by Windows Movie and TV Player. Switch back to the settings and click on the current default app listed. A drop-down menu will appear, showing a list of available apps installed on your system. Select the app you want to set as the default for that category. In my position, I will select VLC Player, a video and audio player I've installed on my computer. Yours may be different from mine. If the desired app is not listed, you can choose Look for an app in the Microsoft Store to find and install a new one. Once you've chosen default apps for all desired categories, close the Settings window. Your changes will take effect immediately, and the selected apps will now open by default for their respective categories. If you've made changes and want to revert to the Windows default apps, scroll to the bottom of the Default App Settings page and click on the Reset button. Alternatively, you can set a default app for a specific file type. You can do so easily by right-clicking on the file and selecting Open With. From there, choose another app from the slide menu. A pop-up list of video players will appear, and you can select the app you want to set as the default video player. Once you've made your selection, Click on Always Use This App to open MP4 files to set it as the default. Finally, click on the OK button to make the changes take effect immediately. That's it! You've successfully chosen default apps on Windows, customizing your experience to suit your needs and preferences. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Kindly consider giving the video a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel for future tutorials, and engaging by sharing your thoughts in the comments section. Your support is greatly appreciated. I look forward to having you join me in another tutorial soon.